Hello, today I'm going to be playing a game called When the Past Was Around. It caught my eye because of the art style of the game, and I just really liked the way it looked, and it seemed like it told a pretty neat story. So, yeah, I haven't really played that many games recently, um, or that many, especially story games like this. Just even opening the game, though, the cursor reminded me of the cursor from uh, Life is Strange, which is a really good game if, if you've never played it. Alright, let me just interrupt myself real quick. I just wanted to say that... As I record my uh, playthrough of this game, I'm going to have one recording of the voiceover and me talking over the game, like a traditional, I guess, let's play. And I'm going to have another recording that I'm going to put up separately of just the game with no commentary. Because I know some people, especially with story games, don't care for the commentary and just want to listen to the game, which is understandable. So, yeah. Um, yeah, without further ado, uh, when the past was around. I'm very excited. I've had this in my library for a little bit on Steam, and um, just been trying to find a good time to finally play it. When the past was around. Alright, so what I'm going to do real quick here is, is actually just read the, uh, the, the like first sentence or whatever on the Steam description, because I think it's relevant, and it, uh, it kind of sets the mood for the game. So it's when the Past Was Around is an adventure point-and-click puzzle game about love, moving on, letting go, and the joy and pain of everything in between. This is the story of Ida, a girl in her early 20s. Like anyone her age, she's lost. She's lost her way in the journey to achieve her dreams. She's lost her way in the journey to find love. Until she meets the owl. So, here we go. I freed the owl, man. I'm assuming this is the owl. I don't know, maybe not. It looks just like a shadow dude. I'm waiting. Well, yeah, there's feathers. I'm waiting to see if there's any, like, extra thing I can click on. No. All right, we're going in. Ah, I gotta remember to not move my chair so much, too, because, uh, the chair, uh, makes noise. <laughs> this is, see, I just, I, I don't even, I mean, besides what the thing is about, I've not looked anything up about this game. I have no idea what's it about what it's about besides the description but it's just the art style is amazing it's 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 weird seeing this like hand-drawn looking but obviously you know it's, it's a video game i don't know yeah, well let's let's close all that up tidy things up a bit what animal leaves their shoes oh i found a cool. what animal leaves their shoes just in the middle of the rug does he have like a violin behind him it looks like hey, give me those keys can i turn the lamp on Oh, there we go. Alright, we'll go back to that in a second. I need a knife. I'm assuming, is there anything else I can do? No, can I click on any of... No, okay. Uh, let's try that key. There we go. Memoir. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So clearly they're they're together, I'm assuming. And an exacto. Alright. Or a razor blade, not an exact. Is that a I don't know. Lost my uh, lost my train of thought. A feather? Oh boy. Look at my feather. It is a violin. Or a something. I think it's a violin. Alright. I like the I like the robe thing, whatever it is. It's nice. It's quite nice, if I have to say so myself. Alright, we're going into this room. Let's go. Very sweet. Alright, what are we looking for now? Ooh, it's broken. No good. Oh, there's a code, okay. It's been a long time since I've played like a really good point and click game. Well, I don't know, probably the last point and click game I played, it was a while ago, it was some horror game I think on Steam. It was, I believe it was free. I can't pick up the trash can, that's bothering me. <laughs> and it was, um, it was recommended to me, uh, shoot, I don't remember, it's been probably months, but it was, it was halfway decent. I mean, it was pretty good, right? It was, um, It was interesting, so I gotta probably play the right thing. Um, 
completely lost my train of thought. Yeah, anyway, yeah, no, the the horror game on Steam, it was good. But uh, other than that, really the only point and click games I'd ever played were like um, like those Flash games, which honestly, rest in peace, uh, Flash, right? That ended at the beginning of the year, as if 2020 couldn't take more from us, right? Well, knock on wood. Uh, key is it this? Oh, it's a it's a turn thing, right? Yeah. It's a turn. Um... Right? Yeah, it's a music box. Is it not a music box? Am I... I'm kind of sad it's not letting me turn the music box. Um... Alright, let's go ahead and fix this. Oh, I'm missing one more piece. Okay, one, four, two, four, six, eight, one. Oh, I gotta I can look up here. Six two seven. Am I supposed to click on these? Oh, okay. So, gosh, I didn't know I'd need like to decipher. So the code, I got the code down, and I got the um, the picture. So I should should with that, I should be able to play the correct notes in the piano, I'm assuming. Um, so it's one, which is a square, four, which is the star, three, which is, oh, it's, it represents the same things on the, it's just keys in order. So I'm assuming four, six, four, one. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't that bad. All right, so I got that figured out. Um, let's go over yonder to the bookshelf and throw that bad boy in there. Got the next owl feather. Now what is he gonna get? Is it filling in the person? And I'm not sure if this is the prologue or if this is what. Because I think the prologue was added to it or a DLC or something. I'm not entirely sure. I also don't know if we're going through memories or what we're going through, but not disappointed. That's for sure. I like the music. It's quite nice. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, some bread. Gotta plug that. Oh. Didn't know I had to plug the plant in. Oops. Well, shoot. Can I not... What am I plugging in? <laughs> Looks like I'm plugging in the... Oh, I'm plugging in the blender. Okay. Oh, I'm missing the faucet. Whoa, I should maybe not be clicking on all these plants and destroying them. Or maybe that's the point. Maybe, maybe that's the point, right? <laughs> that things get destroyed along the way of life. I, I don't know. Need a key for that. Not that. Uh, yeah, okay, clock. Oh, there we go, it's a hand. Obviously. Okay, you'd think I would learn by now. <laughs> I'm just gonna knock all the plants over, I don't care. There could be something hidden. See, exactly, like that. It's hidden. How was I supposed to know? Or not know? These plants, they, they could be hiding stuff. You never know. Also, there's that. Let's rinse the sponge off. Now I got me a nice fresh sponge to do I don't know what with, but I can sponge things. Um, also bread, let's, let's have a conversation here right now. Um, I'm a big fan of the bread with the seeds, <laughs> seed bread, I guess. But, uh, I told, I told, um, some friends, I don't know how we were talking about that. That's what we talk about, right? Bread. And, um, they, they made fun of me for it. They didn't, they didn't like the seed bread. So any seed bread people out there, 
post, put a comment down below or something. <laughs> Let me know there's more than just me out there, right? Um, one, 1915. That could be a time, right? Uh, I need the other hand, though. But yeah, 1915, what would be what? So I, I'm, I'm from America, right? So we use, we don't do that. We do uh, PM and A, or AM and PM. Why would I say PM and AM? But that would be 12, we call this military time, even though I think a lot of the rest of the world just calls it time. Um, so what would it be, se seven? Seven o'clock, seven plus tw seven, yeah, 7.15 is what this would be. Um, in American time. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else I can do, though. Do I really blend up bread? Okay. That's a new one. Do you want bread crumbs? Birdman? I don't know. Tea? What, what, do you, what do you use bread crumbs for? I need, like, a hammer. Do I put it back in my lunchbox? What do I need bread crumbs for? Do I feed bur- Ah, I was gonna say. Thank you, little friend. Although I'm wondering why you have my... <laughs> no. My, uh, clock piece in the first place. Okay, so that would be... Uh, three, six. Oh, duh. Hold on. I swear I know how to do this. Now I gotta go all the way around, though. To 15. I overshot slightly. Right? What is that? That's six. Oh, seven. There we go. <laughs> Can't count. Oh yeah, you know, keep a crowbar in my <laughs> my clock, which I guess becomes useful when you have to use it to pry open a thing for a screw, a big box for a screw, you know. Uh, and what would this be used for? Lights, maybe? No, not the light. Oh, the, the journal. Or the... It doesn't say what it is, but... I gotta stop. I gotta stop shaking. I don't want to put... This chair, like I said, it makes a lot of noise if I move. And I have a less... Little... Restless leg. Right, so... Um... Yeah. I'll try. I'll try, I'll try not to. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try my, my darndest. Alright, Birdman. What do we got next? Oh, filled in hands. Let us go, you and I. My bird friend. Alright. Um. It's quite beautiful. Is this a mission? No, it's not. <laughs> this is just part of the game. I don't know, it's something about the art style, it just looks really neat. I'm a big fan. Oh, can I... Grab the little music notes. Oh, can't let him get away. Nope, 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 nope. No, I missed all... No, I... Thought I missed it. Oh, I can't do any more. Reach for the violin. You can do it. Yeesh. It's loud. Okay, that was the prologue. I just—I don't know if you can see the achievements from Steam on the screen or not. I don't think so, but it just said prologue. So, all right. So I'm sorry that the game kind of just cut out so quickly. I didn't realize that this was actually the end of the first chapter or the prologue when I was first playing through, and I've decided that I'm going to split up the episodes into the different chapters in the game. I didn't expect the game to actually be this long. Uh, but it's a good surprise. Um, so each episode will be each chapter of the game. So the next episode when it's up will be the next chapter of the game. 
and that's how counting works, so I think you probably have it figured out.